Hey guys, so I just want to say thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Uh, the goal of this video is to really get you to understand and see the, the amazing cohort that you have. And a special shout out to all the people who made this video possible and brought it to life. And the inspiration for this video goes to Team 3. Uh, Craig, Alina, Abdul and Xenia, thank you so much for giving me an amazing experience uh, and being a part of a learning team that really fostered positivity and growth. And I appreciate that from you guys and I hope to you know one day see all of you, especially Team 3. Shout out to you guys once again. Uh, and yeah, enjoy the video. Guys. So what I want you to do is, you know, just kind of, you can take your time to think about it, but be authentic with your answer because again, it's just whatever comes to your mind. And so tell us what is the strength of this program from your experience so far? I believe the biggest strength is the cultural diversity that exists in the program itself. Uh, it's 100% the case method. It's um, getting to listen to everyone's different ideas, understanding that people approach problems very differently uh, is incredible. Honestly, I think one of the biggest strengths besides things like the faculty and all the Ivy brand name is the cohort. So I think the strength of this program is just having a group of people who are all together that we can bounce ideas, bounce business problems and all these other things off each other. I think that a strength is a pretty easy one. Um, I mean, just, you know, the diversity of the program. Oof. I would say strength would be definitely the people online and, and within class. I think the diversity um, of everybody within the program is a huge strength. I think one of the definite strengths of the program is the, uh, is the dynamic learning environment. Being said, uh, what, what I, what I kind of want to like take the direction is kind of talk to me about you know when you first met that team, like, you know when you first saw these groups of people virtually, what was your initial like thought process, you know, and then take me from there, flash forward to today, where that thought process is, you know. So you know, I still remember my first meeting. Um, super nervous, didn't know who. Well, I knew who was in the learning team, but never met them before. You know, if I look at myself right now. Uh, you know, with regards to like three people in particular, you know, I think I'm pretty close to them. I can easily talk to them. Um, you know, we still chat even after our learning team meetings. So it's like a, it's like a small family, you could say. <laughs> when we first met, it was so chill. Like it, we were, <laughs> we were scheduling this like first meeting call or whatever for like days and it never happened. And we ended up meeting like the day of the learning with cases, like our orientation day. And today, yeah, it's basically the same thing, but we're just, we have a stronger connection. I was very fortunate to have a great uh, few people working with me. Very cooperative, uh, even though we were in different time zones, always had each other's back. Uh, that's one thing I really appreciated. So I was really nervous when I first met my learning team because I felt like in an online environment, they were kind of my first introduction to having the connections that I was really looking forward to. Um, so I think it's definitely just helped in terms of being more comfortable with each other and being able to approach each other with questions. Cause before I felt like it was all on me, but now we're a team and it's all on us as a team. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie to you. Like my learning team, they're fire. Like we, like, I feel like I'm, closer with them than I am with my best friends that I've had. Like that sounds so it sounds so cliche, but like we've had games nights already. We've like we've texted each other about random things that aren't to do with school. And just like from being intimidated at the start to now like almost being like once again like kind of cliche, but like being like a family is crazy. And when we first um, were in the meeting groups, I thought kind of thought, oh um, you know I, I can't really see us, you know, forming a connection over Zoom. Like that's gonna be impossible. But as uh, the meetings continued, we started, you know, to kind of hang out and Zoom calls longer than when we had to, like when our work was done and, you know, kind of throwing jokes here and there. I think when we first started, we we're all kind of shy because we all come from different backgrounds, different culture, and like our mother tongues were all different. So the first two weeks was kind of like figuring out our schedules. And I mentioned before the four different time zones. So we once we had like weekly meetings kind of set up and got to the habit of meeting before each cases, we really got to know each other a I little bit. I feel like better. my learning group, um... We kind of uh, we kind of got started pretty slowly. I feel because no one would really want to break the ice. But uh, as as it went as it went along, we started to know each other. You know, obviously we became more comfortable, and uh, we started having better discussion. And then you know, with that whole last project, we all like we were able to figure out like how each other works 
like best, who has a strength and weakness in this different area. And it really like, it was really cohesive and I was honestly really proud of like how our group worked together. Just to kind of dig deeper now a little bit and just tell us one thing about each member from your learning team. Diana. So Diana, she so she's the type of person that's so she's super positive. Uh, you know, she if when everyone's down, she comes in with her jokes and just you know lightens the whole mood. So that she you know she's like a really fun personality. And now Harsh, uh, he's the type of person you know I can talk to. Uh, we have our like own oh, separate Zoom calls sometimes to talk about life and general our future. So he's a good person. He's a great listener. Um, so that's one of his strengths. Um, Katie, she. You know, both of us are trying for, um, you know, we have like a goal of going to Norway. So we like, we're helping each other out. So, you know, I know she's on the same page as I am. Um, so it's like a great support over there. And then Pratyaksh, um, you know, uh, we share our, our, our passion for cricket, the sport. And also, uh, you know, chatting with him, he moved to Canada. I tried to help him out in the beginning. So, you know, he's a great uh, friend over there as well. And, you know, like another moral support, you could say. Yeah, okay. I'll start with Ben then. Um, he's been, I, I think we have a group that uh, wasn't uh, that familiar with the number side of business to begin with, or at least got comfortable with it more slowly. Uh, so Ben brings like a punctuality and a focus and a professionalism that's really important, but the um, just the straight up accounting skills he, he was able to give to our group in, in first semester was super, super valuable. Talking about Candace now, does a great job of kind of keeping us grounded. The group will sometimes be going in one direction. Uh, we feel like there's a momentum to it. And she she's on a number of occasions brought up a point that I thought was valuable. It like redirected us or made us consider something we hadn't previously considered. Uh, San Sandy's been the back end of a lot of the projects we've done, uh, but she's done a good job of actually just like putting projects together. The, the thing that needs to be put together to get a good mark, to produce something that's presentable that's been sandy she's been phenomenal phenomenal at, at kind of turning ideas into a project that's submittable uh, sophia's brought a great approach i don't know she she seems very um kind of well-rounded you know she contributes in in every kind of discussion but i, I think uh, what i've appreciated with working with her is, is a good attitude you know it's like show up ready to work every day um and then also brings kind of a fun energy there's like i'll start with evan um Evan from the beginning has been such a great leader in our group. Like he's very, very accommodating and he's always been so upfront about being able to help us at any time. Jal, she's also such a supportive team player. Like she always sends us such encouraging messages. Like I'm sure you've seen it in the group chat as well, but um, that's how she is in our learning team as well. Just constantly sending positive messages, encouraging us, telling us to take breaks and just reminding us that we all got this and we're in this together. So I really appreciate that positivity from her. So Adam Batan from day one in our first meeting, I was like, this guy's genuine. I got really good authentic vibes from him. And he's just such a sincere person that, um, even aside from our learning teams, like we've been going on walks together and um, having chats and it's just, it's been great. And so I'm really glad to have met him as such a good friend in this program. Moving on to Anthony, he is probably, I would have to say he's one of the most committed people that I've met. Like he is currently in China right now, but he has switched his sleeping schedule to be on Eastern time. And so he is so incredibly accommodating to the rest of the team because it takes so much to change your time schedule and be awake when everyone's asleep and be doing this in a different time zone. But we've never had any issues with scheduling meetings with him. And I can't tell you how much I appreciate that. Last but not least, Kirsty. So Kirsty is an, another amazing team member because not only is she so hardworking and reliable and just there for you if you need help to hop on a meeting or she'll be private messaging me if I need something, but she also just brings so much positivity to our meetings. Okay, I'll start with Johnny. Um, one positive thing I have to say about him, he's overall just a genuinely approachable guy. Uh, Eamon, yeah, she is... She's just such a softie. She's so soft-spoken. It's great. Like, it's easy. Like, we started off not talking a lot, and now we're, like, best friends. Um, it's easy to confide in her for stuff. I don't know. Her dad was an accountant or is an accountant. So any accounting questions we had, she was our go-to because we got help from her dad. So we, 
as learning team number 10, we appreciate her so much for that. Um, Manasvi, he was a key member in getting information about like the emerging economy aspect of things for like internationalization and stuff because he's from India. Um, I feel so sorry for the dude. He had to show up to our meetings at like 5.30, 6.30 in the morning, his time. <laughs> um, we were, we tried our best to be accommodating, but you know, they're 10 and a half hours ahead. Andrew, the finance guru, he works at, um, at a bank and yeah, he's all about money. That's, that's the one thing I'm going to remember about that guy all the time. He just wants to, to be rich, filthy rich. <laughs> and we love that about him. He's such a jokester. Yeah. That's all I have to say, I guess. Um, I'll start with Cole because he is somebody that I feel like I personally struggled with accounting and think other people did too. And he really helped us and was super positive about everything. Like if someone was kind of getting me down, he's like, oh, it's not that hard. Like it's this and this, like you got this kind of thing. So he was just really encouraging and helpful in terms of that. So Manisha is that she is super funny and she always sends me memes. So I feel like um, even though like we don't get a lot to a lot of time to chat within our learning team meetings, we kind of chat outside side of that and that like really helps me I'll be in the middle of doing homework and I get like an Instagram notification I'm like oh yes like she made my day um and what will is that he always has something like really well spoken and I don't want to say intelligent but really knowledgeable and thought through response for all of us to consider um so he's always like saying things to kind of get me to think deeper and I really like being pushed in that aspect so I think it's really great that he like contributes in that way and then Matia in terms of positivity I think she's just like a really good team player so she always helps keeps us organized and I think too um I always like look up to her in terms of her well-spoken attitude. So if she's thinking a certain way, the way she speaks on it is just really well-spoken. And I like look up to the way that she conducts herself almost in a way. So. I start off with Jacob, Jacob Fleet. Uh, great guy, has a very analytical thought process, is very friendly with everyone in the sense that he takes every opinion into consideration before uh, putting, point, putting his point forward is not abrupt at all. So that's like, you know, a, a very smooth transition to questions. Uh, then if you talk about Gurleen, Gurleen is uh, like, I mean, she has an accounting background. She's super friendly. She's super cooperative. So that way she's like really helped us with a lot of accounting stuff. Uh, Ashley, Ashley has a very interesting theoretical approach to a lot of subjects. She puts points in order. She has good organizational skills and, you know, eventually helps us uh, get into a right flow. Joanna, I would say, is like a silent assassin. So, you know, she's usually quiet, but but when she has a point, it's right there, like right to the target that you're looking at. You know, right from the get-go, the first, like, Alex, um, I think he was definitely, like, a really strong leader. He really, you know, took initiative, um, was always willing to kind of, like, put in, you know, whatever extra work that needed to be done. And Jolly, I love her to death. Like, honestly, you know, she's still in India right now. She's in Chandigarh. Um, but she is, like, we get along so, so well. I mean, you know, she's just such a sweet person. Like, Ava, super sweet as well. Yep, also from a business background. And, you know, she definitely knows, um, like, she's put quite strong in business as well. Um, Lucas, he, I think he's generally interested in like the science aspect of, uh, of business, like the medical world and like a great, great guy as well. Really easy to talk to and get along with. Um, and then also Jake, I mean, I'm sure you've talked to Jake, Jake, I'm, like, I think everyone's talked to Jake, honestly, he's such a sociable person. So outgoing and like, you know, so easy to hold a conversation with and, um, yeah, overall amazing people. Sean's a character in himself. Like, I'm going to tell you that right now. He's, he's, he honestly takes on like a, like a leadership role and he like, we're all, we're all close with each other, but he's definitely, he's definitely a strong personality where he brings the group together in a strong sense. And that's the same with Hala. Hala and, and Sean, they have two great strong personalities that like, they, they're kind of like, the, not the foundation, but they're definitely a strong component of our group. See, like, like, I come on the chat and Chrissy's always happy. Like she's smiling, she's outgoing, she's friendly. Like she's she's always just a good time. Happy. Like I'm happy she's in our group because she brings like a positive vibe, positive energy. Schumann, very quiet, 
but when she says something like it it hits hard like what well, she she she's she doesn't talk a lot but when she does the things she say like are powerful and they're like they're super meaningful I'll start with jeffrey um jeff's a great guy uh he always throws like sarcastic comments and they're hilarious so um christina's great you know she's always smiling she's hilarious and you know she she does great work uh Yuji is awesome uh she's all the way in china but you know she never fails to make us all smile and laugh and all that stuff and then uh manassi's out in vancouver and she's great too um she's done a lot of awesome work and i know we all just bring something unique to the table so i'd like to thank you know everyone in learning team six for making it such a great time so shout out to you guys so i'll start with fry naz is very good in terms of keeping everyone on task general project management type stuff gotham i would say is really good with uh the accounting dimension and the quantitative aspects of some projects that we've had. Yeah, okay. Amartya is really good at uh, slide deck presentations and um, editing slide decks. He did a killer job with the Gillette slide deck. Um, I really appreciate him for, for coming up with that theme. So I'll start with Andrew. He's very analytical, um, which is super helpful with the accounting cases and like putting finance financials together. Next is Martin. He has a lot of leadership qualities. And so I was kind of taken aback by that when we first met. I was like, oh no, like, I don't know if I'm going to fit with this. Um, but just like the way he empowers others to talk around him, I think is a great skill that he's got. Um, Kaysen. Kaysen just, <laughs> Kaysen like knows everything about everything. Like he's super great. Um, he's very positive. Um, and, you know, he kind of moves with the way. And then Jessica is overall just her positive demeanor and happiness brings a whole other level to the group. And, you know, when we were powering through that last project, she was like, come on, guys, like we got this. And that was super motivating. And I think just all of our qualities put together made for a great team. And like individually, like they're all very personable Um and, you know, you can get down to a one-on-one -on -one level with them. One thing I love, one thing I really respect about Nathan is, like, Nathan just, like, wants everything to, like, to be the best it can be. Like, like hands down, you know? Like, like he's going to put, the guy just, he puts his heart into, like, everything he does. Erica is, like, is, like, Erica's dialed. Erica's got her stuff together. If Erica's, Erica will call you on your bullshit, you know? Like if, if you say something and it's like not supported by facts or whatever in, a, in like a case breakdown or like it's just a thought you have and it, it's like not grounded, Erica will tell you, Erica will tell you when you're wrong, which is, which everyone needs a little bit of that. And I definitely need a lot of that. So, so yeah, so that's awesome. Uh, Coco's, Coco's a whiz with, with numbers when it comes down to it. Um, she's like, yeah, she comes from an accounting background and, uh, she can always, she can always be, we, we always were able to account on her to, uh, to get it all done for us when, uh, when it, when it came down to it. So, so it was fantastic. And then, yeah, last but definitely not least, we got Mr. Antonio Manzo. Um, the guy's a character. He's a character. He's a lot of fun. Um, he's a fun guy to be around. He's smart as can be. Um, and, uh, yeah, he's he's a he's a super super fun guy. He's always willing to present his ideas, which is awesome. Um, but he always is willing to like flex on them and incorporate other people's ideas as well, which uh, which makes him a great teammate. So yeah, they've all been a pleasure to work with, and we've we've had a great I've had a great learning environment. So we start with Clement. Clement's in Hong Kong right now, and Clement's been really helping us with all the accounting part as well as Yannick. So Yannick is joining us from Ghana and um, he had some like bachelor background in accounting and economics. So the two of them has really been the people that we've been counting on for all the accounting assignments and all the numbers, quantitative stuff that like the rest of us will never get, <laughs> hopefully one day. And then moving on to Tanez. Tanez is live, currently living in the GTA and uh, she's been really great with editing and like writing stuff when a lot of us are like, um, I say kind of international students, like for example, myself, my mother tongue was in English and Tanez really helped when we don't know how to phrase words and make them sound like good. And then moving on to Arjun. So Arjun's actually a lawyer. So he's based in India and he's been really helpful with coming a lot of like these critical thinkings and arguments and using the strategies and implementing them. 
So Arjun has been really being a key player with us to write our scripts and like kind of put together all the ideas um, and stuff like that. And moving on to Margaret. So um, my learning team was a little weird. We have like Yannick on our learning team for Ivy Essentials where Margaret's not because Margaret's actually an HBA student while doing MSc. So she's technically still working on her undergraduate degree while being in class with us. So Margaret's with us for internationalization and uh, cross-cultural management. And she really brings on a different perspective because she has a little bit more practice in HBA, like at least a year ahead of us. So that's been like super helpful and insightful. Uh, Rusong, he's, man, that guy is, anyone ever has any accounting questions, go to that guy. He's a whiz and he's one of the nicest guys that I've met so far. He's just uh, always willing to help out. And then we got Paul. He's, he's a very, he's really great at communicating. He's, he's always, you know, clear and ready to, you know, get everything noted down and, sent off to Wen Yi. She's, she's got really interesting uh, experience. I'm pretty sure she did an undergrad in, uh, in aerospace or something with airplanes, if I'm not mistaken, which is pretty cool. And she's, again, bubbly, bubbly personality once you get to know her and just really, really nice girl. Um, and then we got Vicky. Uh, she also has a background in, I'm pretty sure, economics. Again, another whiz with numbers and stuff like that. Really good with uh, analytical breakdowns and stuff like that. Uh, and again, very, very Steve nice. Latha. Um, I think I said her name wrong. Um, my bad. Uh, but she, she has an experience, uh, experience with engineering and she has work experience as well in the, in many different, like a couple different industries, I'm pretty sure. So again, she's another, um, really good student who just, you know, has a great understanding of how the world works and what needs to be done and really great with collaborative work. Hey everyone, you're here, which means you're at the end of the video. So first off, thank you very much for taking the time to watch this video. Um, I know you, you all are busy with school and given that we are about to start the month of March, which will be the busiest time of the semester for us, I just want to say thank you for you know taking the time out of your day to watch this video. With that being said, the hopefully the main message out of this video, uh, what you got hopefully, was that your best social support system is your cohort. You know. Every individual here in this cohort is exceptional and they bring something to the table that's invaluable. And I hope you see that, or I hope you saw that in this video. With that being said, the best of luck to everybody for this semester. And as a classmate, a friend, and also as your VPIB, I'm always here. So please reach out anytime you need to myself and to anybody else in this cohort. Um, all the best and yeah, good night. Thank you.